Back. Every weekday, thousands of mid-Michigan parents leave their children at daycare. The state's Department of Human Services says 95 to 98 percent of those daycare facilities provide more than adequate care for our young ones. But what about the other two to five percent? NBC 25's Dylan Collier spent an extensive amount of time researching daycare violations and put together an expansive list of what you need to look out for. Dylan? Bill, this is a story about peace of mind more than anything else. Trusting a stranger to keep your child healthy and safe is a decision parents, myself included, wrestle with every single day. They're the most important people in your life, small and defenseless. Nearly every day you trust a business to care for them. But how do you know the people behind the business are doing everything they can to protect your child? How's it going? Hi. Is Stephanie in? Hi, Dylan Hi. Collier from NBC 25. Hi. We're doing a story on uh, daycares. We confronted a daycare provider, Rot, with violations. Violations we found online, and you can too. The State Department of Human Services reports its findings on their website. NBC 25 used it to investigate all 200 daycares in Genesee County. We did some research on the DHS website and saw 17 violations. Do you care to comment on that? That's the voice of Building Blocks developmental daycare owner Stephanie Staley. The Flushing-based daycare slapped with 17 violations since December 2007, four of them repeat offenses. From the minor, inaccurate sign-in sheets, to the major, multiple children injured and parents not properly notified. Matthew Norwood, a lawyer representing the daycare, sent us this letter. He indicates that Building Block took immediate corrective action, sending a report to the state in order to keep their license. But we weren't able to see any of those changes because our cameras were not allowed inside the building. If this should happen to you as a parent, the state's director of child care licensing says beware. Stopping by the center or the home unannounced when, when you're not scheduled to go and see what's happening there. And if, if a provider doesn't want you to do that, that's a red flag that you need to, to be worried about. Some daycares will let you in any time of day from anywhere. This eye in the sky, just one of a dozen web cameras inside Lady Di Daycare in Clio. Parents can watch their child's every move on any computer or smartphone. It's hard as a parent and it's hard for a daycare worker with all of these kids. But having this system, having these people here, so I can see what he's doing, I can see how he adjusts, how he reacts, and the communication between all of us at all times is a huge factor, the main factor that I chose this place. We found no violations in Lady Die Daycare's records. In fact, only around 10% of the 200 daycares we looked at were investigated by the state in the last few years. And of those, only a handful had severe violations. The two incident reports, 2007-2010. Building Blocks Developmental Daycare was investigated twice in a three-year period, the last time in the fall of 2010. It has not been cited since. State officials say their website is a resource, daycare a business, and parents the key component in finding the right match. We gave the owner of Building Blocks several chances to do an on-camera interview, but she declined. The state's last inspection, which took place in early April this year, found no violations. That paperwork was provided to us by Mr. Norwood. Bill? 